Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am your Wawa girl. Yes, because everybody knows me from Wawa. Florida and Jersey. This is a quick video. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. Um, I always read comments and I do reply. Um, if you write something stupid, I'm just gonna ignore you. But everybody has their opinion. Um, and don't forget to subscribe because I do need subscribers. Um, quick video about Donald Trump's speech today. Um, he claimed that he cares about the American people, that he canceled his um, rally in Jacksonville because of the American people. Um, and he's given 30 millions to schools if um, when they reopen. But if they choose to stay closed, then he would forward that 30 million to the parents so they can take care of these kids. Um, we all know that's bullshit. Right now he's saying all this and trying to say, oh, we're gonna send out 30 million to, do you know how many kids are in this world? So you're probably gonna get like $5.52 to take care of your children, okay? Then they're trying to cut off these people food stamps. They're trying to cut off our unemployment. Um, you know, um, they're, they're doing a lot of things. Uh, one of the Repu people from the Pre Republican Party was asked, well, why are you trying to cut off food stamps? Um, because when you were 19, you, your wife and your children were on food stamps. And he had nothing to say because he was on food stamps for a while. Um, but yeah, getting to um, my point here, um, don't believe the hype. He's three months away from being kicked out of office. And the only ones that can make that happen is me and whoever's watching these videos. Please go out and vote for Biden. Democrats are for the people. Republicans are for their pockets. Don't go out there and waste your time and vote for Kanye. Let's just leave Kanye in his little music world and his... Kim Kardashian world, mm, I love you guys, but you're not politicians. Please stay out of it. Um, you see, Kanye West will mimic everything that his idol was doing. And we don't need another four years of chaos. We really don't. And any black man that you see at a Trump convention or rally or whatever you want to call it, Okay, knowing that Trump is a racist, knowing that he encourages police brutality, that's bad news. We need a real president, a true leader, someone who will go above and beyond to protect the American people. We need Biden in office. I'm going to tell you a story about how Donald Trump came into office. It's because black people stopped voting. We were fine after, um, okay, just say before um, President Obama um, was nominated for president. We didn't care about voting. We're like, whatever, you know. Um, we left that to the elderly black folks who always believe that well, you have to go out and vote. You have to do this and you have to do that. And Okay, yeah, but I've never voted in my life until President Obama. And when he became a second term president, bam. After that, we were all content. But And then when we saw Donald Trump um, being nominated, like... Well, yeah, whatever. We never thought in a million years because he knew nothing about politics that he would become president. Sadly, thank God. Um, I didn't vote for him, so he's not my president. Uh, but yeah, that's how he ended up in the White House. So now after all these four years of all this racist shit that's going on, um, all these um, men and women of color that 
dying by the hands of police officers and police officers are just getting away with it because Donald Trump encourages this bullshit um, and his neglect for um, COVID-19. Now all of a sudden he wants to care about the American people and all this bullshit. Yeah, no, that's not happening. I need all of you to get out there and vote. I don't care who you vote for. Let's just vote him out of office. You want to vote for Biden? Yes. You want to vote for Kanye West? <laughs> you want to vote for Mickey Mouse? Yes. I don't care. Just as long as we get out there and we vote. Because let me tell you something. We are much stronger against Trump if everyone gets out there and vote. We have people that are our family, our friends that are in nursing homes that have died as a result of COVID. People that you can say, yes, my grandma's still alive or my grandpa's still alive or my uncle's still alive. They're in a nursing home. Let's go see them on their birthday. Let's go. You have one fucking life to live. And this man has taken every breath out of everyone in these nursing homes that have died. Mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts. This is what he's done. Okay? People in the nursing home, they don't go anywhere. They stay in their nursing home. But people leave and come back. And they brought in COVID. That's how it went from one to another to another. And as I can tell you in my in all of my videos, what we're going through now is what President Obama predicted could happen. And I outbreak with Dustin Hoffman and Cuba Gooden Jr. This is what we are going through. And had he said, well, you know what? Let's quarantine everyone. Make sure everyone goes to the grocery store. Make sure they have things for their kids so their kids won't drive them crazy. We need to quarantine everyone. Stop all the flights coming in. Stop everyone from driving from state to state. We need this world to be at a standstill right now. Then we would not be going through this six months later if he had done it right the first time. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about me. We have brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles that are incarcerated. They are paying their debt to society. Some have a few years in there, some have life, but they still get to see their family. Half of which are probably innocent for crimes that cops put on them. And it's happened because I was watching it on TV the other day. Two brothers ended up um, with life sentences and they had nothing to do with the crime. And they were finally released from prison. Do you know what has happened to these men? Do you know what's happened to their families? Innocent and spent time in prison. And now we have SEALs and everybody else bringing COVID into the prisons, the jails, and people are getting sick, people are dying. They can't see their loved ones anymore. All of this is because of Trump. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your newborn baby. 85 babies in Texas are infected with COVID. Half of which... I, Apparently he still has followers. I don't know how. And half of those, and all those fo followers are racist. Anybody that follows Trump is a fucking racist. And they think it's okay for them not to wear a mask. Because he doesn't wear a mask. And that's why we have a rise in numbers again. And there's going to be continue to be a third wave as soon as they get these schools open. I'm afraid for my son to go back to school. He's in college. sleepless nights for me if he decides to go back. But again, Donald Trump doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about me. 
He doesn't care about your family. He doesn't care about who you lost. He has yet to address anyone that has died from police violence. Look at what he said about that old man that all those cops, that the cops pushed down so violently. He had a cell phone in his hand and was bleeding from his ear. And what did he say about this man? He blamed it on that little old man. Oh, he did this. So he was a drama king and blah, 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 blah. Oh, I don't know how many times I'm going to tell y'all, but I can tell you this. Let's vote him out of office. I need every black person to vote, to get out there, vote, wear your mask. I will be out there with my mask on. My kids will be out there. It's the only time I will ever take them out with me. They will put on their mask and their shades, glasses, or whatever, protect their eyes, wear gloves. We will distance ourselves, but we're going to go out there and we're going to vote. And with all of us black folks voting, it makes us stronger against him and all the Republicans. And we will win. And Biden, Biden, you call him Biden, Biden will be our next president. And you can bank on him doing the right thing. No more people has to die. As far as I'm concerned, Trump is a murderer. He is killing people day by day by not doing anything about COVID. If he cared about the American people, we, we would have gotten our stimulus checks, we would have gotten everything that we needed to stay quarantined to make sure that this disease is over and done with and that we can go back to opening our schools, our bars, our clubs, our stores, everything, and that we wouldn't have to walk around looking crazy or we'd be able to hug one another, hug our neighbor, talk to our friends. This is long overdue. So I will talk to you later. Don't forget when you go outside, wear your armor, make sure you have on your mask, gloves if you need to, goggles, eye protection. I don't know how many times I can tell you guys, cover your eyes as well. When people cough, it goes, droplets go everywhere. Um, don't touch anything unless you're buying it. Always use your hand sanitizer. Put on your mask in your car. Go in the store. Take off your mask when you get back into your car and you're driving away. Because you don't know who's talking next to your car, who's laughing, joking. Remember, this stuff is airborne and it stays in the air for 15, up to 15 to 16, 20 minutes or whatever it is. Be safe and be strong. And we'll get through this. What do we need to do? Vote for Biden. Be safe, guys.